The beauty of having a winter focused business is that I spend the summers really stocking up on inventory, doing some back end work, and then taking my knits on the outdoor adventures that I've been going on and sharing them with you. This was such a crazy week in the studio as I ran into several issues during the test knit of my newest knitting pattern that caused me to postpone the release. It was an emotional roller coaster that ended up with some big realizations and some much needed time in the wilderness. Come behind the scenes for another week in my small business, Smeeny Made Wild. I made some progress on the Stay Wild Beanie pattern update, and I think I actually want to make it its own pattern since it's a different yarn. Um, I think I want to call it the Made Wild Beanie. It's going to be the first pattern I make after the rebrand, so it felt really fitting, and so it just seems kind of like an appropriate full circle thing. I ended up spending the next couple of days getting the pattern ready to send out to test knitters. I decided to change the way I formatted the pattern so I spent a ton of time working on the new design and layout and then getting my old patterns updated with my new business name and contact information. I am ready to do a pattern tester call. A pattern tester is someone who has not seen the pattern so I try to get everyone from a very beginner to seasoned expert where they will get the pattern and actually knit the pattern as written so that they can tell me if there's any errors, like if the pattern works for them. Everyone knits differently, so it's a way to test how it will work up in different people's knitting styles. It's like a way for a lot of eyes to proofread this pattern for me as well before I release it into the world to sell. has officially been set. The most stressful part of doing a pattern release for me is picking pattern testers. Like, I always get so many responses and I got 50 applications for this test and I usually only need about 10 testers. Um, so I'm trying to choose them right now. I basically go in and I look at everyone who applied. I try to incorporate new people every time. So I don't want anyone to feel excluded, but it is definitely the most stressful part for me. All right, I just sent the pattern out to testers. Oh crap, I just realized I didn't even attach the pattern. <laughs> oh no. Okay, crisis averted. I just resent a message that has the pattern attached and we're leaving on a trip today. So <laughs> I'm doing this by the skin of my teeth. We were supposed to leave 30 minutes ago, but here I am still trying to get this email. back in the airport after a whirlwind 72 hours I don't think even 72 hours I'm working on fixing the decrease there's a couple things I didn't really like about it it's been good working with my testers on this pattern because I had been making it with just one brand of yarn and it's worked every time and I was really happy with the results but then everyone's using different yarns which is part of the testing process like you want to see how it would work with different yarns because not everyone is going to be using the same one um, and we've run into some issues. So it's all part of this process and I'm hoping to get it figured out soon. I'm struggling. <laughs> Here I am on like the fifth iteration of a decrease. And then I just feel bad that I'm just going back and forth with my testers. I know that's like part of what they're testing for, but I also wanna have, you know, I want it to be a good testing experience and I don't wanna waste their time. Ugh. But yes, I am a little frustrated right now. I 
guys. I am struggling today. I just had like a mini meltdown and everything's just been kind of chaotic. I'm still working a lot on the rebrand and I have a lot of stuff to get done. I also am going through that pattern test right now for the Made Wild Beanie. We're kind of running into some issues. A lot of the yarns that my testers are using, they've been running short. So whenever I do a pattern, I also want to make sure that it's like guaranteed and foolproof pretty much. So that's been kind of a struggle. So, I don't know, I've just been a little bit stressed, I think. Um, we just got back from San Francisco. This time of year always feels a little bit hard. Um, my grandpa passed two years ago this time, and so we were there to bury his ashes. Um, so that was emotional. And then one of our best friends that passed away um, last April, his birthday's also in August, so I think maybe a lot of that energy is just kind of swirling. Ugh. I'm just trying to be realistic with you guys here and transparent about the realities of running your own business. Um, but yeah, so it's not always sunshine and rainbows. It's not always just getting outside. And, and I think sometimes we just have these moments of feeling like this. So. Um, I just spent the last hour kind of knitting with this yarn. It's summer, but I'm snuggled up with a blanket and some tea and watching like my favorite studio vloggers. So it's kind of letting my mind go a little bit. Okay, so much has transpired in the last little bit. Um, I've continued knitting the pattern with the indie dyed yarn and I'm quite short. I only have this much left and I haven't quite gotten to the desired length. I've decided to postpone the pattern release. I've never actually had to do that before, um, but I think I just need more time to reconfigure this pattern so that it's as foolproof as possible. Stay tuned, the saga continues. Good morning, I'm feeling so much better today. I was just feeling in just such a big funk, so I'm feeling so much better today. Slept in, took a shower, and I've been reworking this um, beanie that's been giving me so much trouble, but this is kind of the start. I'm changing the brim a little bit, so I'm feeling a lot better about that. My testers have been so understanding and so patient. That's why you test knit before you put a pattern out in the world. Um, but anyway, we're going on a little backpacking night tonight with some friends. Um, and then I'm gonna bring the beanies along for some photos, but we're just making some breakfast right now. And then we will get going on the hike. Can't forget Aria's food. Part of the rebrand has been really, for me, giving me more of a chance to share more of the outdoor stuff in a more seamless way. And I do have a lot of big plans for it, but um, it kind of developed like this because I'm doing all this stuff anyway, and I would always bring the hats um, to take photos or like get some lifestyle shots. And these are just things that I like to do with my friends. So it's a little peek behind the scenes slash bringing you along on the adventures. Well, it looks like we might have a rainy cloud, so we got our rain gear, so hopefully it's not gonna drop on us, but if it does, we'll just play cards in the tent.
Rock a fire. So we're gonna go set up our tent and then I can knit. Setting up the tent, I'm going to put on some warm clothes. Ah, because the mosquitoes are out a little bit. Not too many, but a little bit. And it's starting to cool off already, but just wanted to pop on, because um, earlier this week I was talking about how I was struggling with some grief and stress and this camping trip, this backpacking trip was one that we would do every year with my friend that passed away with his kids. So we have one of his kids with us today and the same crew that we always go with. So it's kind of a nice um, thing to do. Like I mentioned, his birthday is coming up. So it's kind of a meaningful spot and um, a meaningful trip. It's just kind of a great time to be together and sit out in the woods and hang out. Good morning friends. We had a great night. The stars were amazing last night. There was a meteor shower. So we stayed up kind of late watching that. Um, but I'm in the tent right now, just kind of getting my stuff cleaned up a little bit. And I'm almost finished with the new beanie design and I think it's gonna work out. I just have to try it out. Um, I did take an, a lot of good progress photos. I didn't bring a pom-pom to take finished photos, but I think that'll be okay. I'm giving the testers another week to um, test it since I had to postpone the release date um, and I just asked if people wanted to stay on or if they needed to back out of the test which is totally understandable um, but ultimately I just want the pattern to be the best it can be so this is kind of a little inside look at the reality of pattern testing and pattern designing it's not always the smoothest or the easiest and how you want it to be so I've gotten to the point of the beanie where I would start decreasing, which means I'm ending the beanie. Um, I'm gonna try it on really quick because sometimes when you cast on a different number, if it's smaller, it'll be a little bit tighter. So that means it stretches differently. And so I wanna make sure that the height is good. I am considered to have a smaller head. Um, so I know that depending on how tight you knit and um, your head size, that could really change the fit of the beanie. So I'm gonna give it a try before I decrease and then we might have the final pattern. Yay, I think we did it. So from here, I'm really excited that this worked out. Um, I'm gonna try it in a different yarn that I actually ran out of yarn the first time I knit it um, in this pattern. So now that I have this updated version, I'm gonna try it again. Um, it probably won't be until I get home because we're about to pack up our camp and hike back. Um, 
but then tonight I can type up the updated version if that works out and send it back to testers and get it going again. Um, I feel so much better. Earlier this week I was just like struggling with all these feelings and stuff, but I think like I mentioned before, it was just a little bit of manifestations of grief, not really taking care of myself too much. Um, and just traveling a lot, so just not feeling grounded and I needed to just find some moments to chill and just be and take care of myself. So I think that's an important part of the work-life balance aspect of running your own business. For, I mean, for everyone too, but just remembering that, you know, you need to recharge too and if you don't, it can really lead to burnout and I've been really burned out before and definitely don't want it to get there again. So anyway. Um, I will talk to you when we get back to town. Okay guys, it is already 6.30 p.m. the next day. I need to update the pattern tonight and get it back to my testers because I think I finally have a good version that I'm happy with and that has enough yarn left over where we're not worried about running out of yarn. But holy moly, these are the trials of pattern designing. finally gotten the pattern sent back out to testers. They have a week to complete the test. In the next vlog, I will show you my pattern launch process. I had mentioned before that I actually make 20% of my revenue on average um, in pattern sales. And so having a successful launch is really important to my revenue generation. And so I'm gonna walk you through the process that I've had to create a successful launch. Um, but yes, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.